Are you curious about sucralose? Well, you are not alone. There is a lot of information about low to no calorie sweeteners that you may not know about or you might find it confusing. In today's Eye on Health, Dr. Sindhu Koshi is here to talk about this topic that a lot of us want to know more about. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. What exactly is sucralose? So sucralose is a, a sweetener or a sugar substitute. Uh, we see it in a lot of our beverages, baked goods. Um, we often put it into our coffee, our RRT. Um, one of the brands, for example, would be Splenda that uses sucralose. But a lot of the other, if you look at your, your creamer, your coffee creamer, you might see sucralose in the label of ingredients. So instead of sugar, you'll see this. So this would be your no sugar, uh, you know, any of your uh, ingredients that you're looking at that says no sugar or sugar substitute, you'll see sucralose in it. Is there any health advantages to opting for sucralose? So the idea was for those who wanted to cut down on their sugar and their calories, this was a great substitute. It's low in calorie, sweetens your food. I mean, sucralose is 600 times as sweet as regular sugar. So you got the sweetness with less calories. So the idea was this would be healthier for someone who is a diabetic who's mm -hmm. trying to cut calories for someone who's trying to lose weight. Mm -hmm. But what we found is um, at least one study has come out saying that there is potentially a uh, a disadvantage of using sucralose in high amounts. Right now, the studies are animal studies, so we're not sure, but one study has shown that maybe it is causing disruption to the DNA. What, why this is a problem is it can lead to cancer. So that's what they're looking into. Right now, these were just animal studies, but on human tissue, they found that this can disrupt uh, DNA in your gut and cause what they call leaky gut syndrome, so all sorts of stomach ailments if you've got too much sucralose. Okay, how much would you advise somebody having in a day? So, you know, the old adage rings true. You know, in moderation, everything in moderation. So even if you're trying to use a sweetener, you're still not trying to gain the same amount of sugar. So you're not trying to sweeten your food so much that you're using a lot of sucralose. So for example, sugars, for a woman, you need about six teaspoons in the whole day. That's how oh, much wow. sugar you're supposed to have. And no for coffee. a man, <laughs> right? And for a, a man, that's about nine teaspoons. So if you're gonna try and you know mix and match, you wanna try and, you can use real sugar, but lower the amounts. Or mm -hmm. you can use sucralose or any of these sweeteners, but try and not, you know, like I do my, creamer with a little bit of coffee. You want to probably do the opposite, right? I a little bit of creamer <laughs> and a lot more coffee. So you want to just minimize everything. So yeah. everything in moderation still rings true for even all of these uh, sugar substitutes. And the other sugar substitutes are kind of coming in to, you know, more uh, yeah. in the eye right now. You Which know, with, I was wondering, is that in the other ones like the, um, the sugar in the raw or the monk fruit or so monk fruit is just fine because that is raw and that you know that that's the fruit so you're fine so it's okay. kind of like getting sugar so that's fine but some of the others like stevia truvia those things yes, right. um, those are still sugar substitutes and there are other things in there that may cause a problem we just don't have the research yet yeah so limited portions what yeah. about for kids I know a lot of parents use um, you know the crystal light or the powdered sugar-free drinks for kids. Is that something they may want to start moderating? May want to, yes, absolutely. You know, you want to stick with water as much as you can for your kids. And if they're playing sports, you know, it's okay to do those sports drinks for, you know, for a really hot day um, to avoid dehydration. But otherwise, try and stick with like no sugar for kids, no sodas, no beverages that have any of those sugar substitutes in it. Yeah, and I know that can be difficult sometimes. Right? <laughs> so if somebody is trying to lose weight, is it a good idea to incorporate the sucralose instead of I would say regular sugar, and I know that's not the right word. No, it is really, it okay. is the right word, yep. <laughs> so, you know, it actually is probably the opposite. If you're trying to lose weight, you want to try and use as much food that you can that would be natural. So if you want to use a little bit of sugar, that's fine, but you want to cut it down as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Same goes if you're going to use a sugar substitute. So let's say you're diabetic or want to try and avoid using real sugar, then use a sugar substitute, but again, try and minimize, so don't eat all the sweets that you would because they have a sugar substitute because there's no sugar added to it. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does. Mm -hmm. That does. All right, Dr. Koshi, thank you so much. Thank that you. was awesome. Very important information.